We're carrying out a full filter service on the BMW X5 E70, 3 litre diesel. So we'll remove the engine cover and the air intake pipe, which will give us access to the oil filter housing below. The oil filter cap is a 32mm socket. The filter stays attached to the cap and using a rag underneath to catch the excess oil, we can move it somewhere more suitable. The new filter will come with a new o-ring and the BMWs usually come with a new sump washer as well. The filter really was quite tough to remove from the filter cap. Remove and replace the old o-ring. and replace the filter back into the housing cap. Once you've got the filter fully seated in the housing cap, you can replace it and tighten to 25 newton meters. although these are the type of housing where basically as soon as the plastic is touching the metal, the housing is tight. Another easy access BMW sump plug. We just need to undo this cover here. And we've got a 17mm sump plug. Leave the oil to drain out, the longer the better. Change the sump plug washer for the new one. And once you're happy with the amount of oil that has drained out, you can replace the sump plug and tighten to 25 newton meters. I'm replacing the cover here, although we should wait until we've run the engine and check that the sump plug is definitely not leaking before covering the sump plug back up.
So now we've got the sump plug tight, we can start topping up the oil. So we have a capacity of 7.5 litres on this engine, including the filter. So what we need to do is add approximately 7 litres, run the engine for some time, switch off the engine for at least 10-15 minutes, and then check the level. So I've run the engine briefly and switched it off for 15 minutes. Now we can check the oil level using the dipstick here. So remove the dipstick, clean it, refit it, and this time we'll be able to check the level. So you see the indentation here is the max level. Top up as necessary until we see the maximum mark on the dipstick, but give it some time to settle at the bottom of the engine, don't over fill the oil. Finally now you've had the engine running, check that the sump plug is nice and clean and no signs of leaks. Now for the air filter, while we are at the top of the engine and we already have the engine cover removed. This is the air box and we've got these clips going all the way around but we need to detach the MAF sensor or at least the pipe going to the MAF sensor in order to be able to lift the lid of the air box off. So I opted to remove the air box completely which made the job a lot easier. So with the air box fully removed, as you can see, we need to undo these clips that go around the air box. Much easier with the air box removed. And now the top part of the air box will come off and you can easily see the rectangular panel filter. Now normally I'd say if the air box is full of debris then give it a vacuum but as we have the air box fully removed we can just tip it upside down and knock out the debris. And now we can fit the new filter. So it's easy to see which way around the filter goes. We just need to take special care that the edges are properly seated. Replace the airbox cover. These lugs at the back locate in the back of the airbox. And now we can replace the air box. Definitely don't forget to reconnect the MAF sensor. Now for the fuel filter, which is located underneath the car, as on most diesel BMWs, except this one is heavily obscured by under panels. And therefore, 
you can get away with leaving this panel attached but the panel on the right will need to be removed completely in order to replace the fuel filter. These are all the fixings that you'll need to remove in order to get to the fuel filter and remove the under tray to the right. Now we can unbolt the clamps that hold the fuel filter in position. It looks like there's actually supposed to be two, but there's only one on this vehicle currently. Remove this retaining clip from the left hand side of the fuel filter. And on the right hand side we need to undo this jubilee clip in order to pull the rubber hose from the end. These hoses can be a little bit tight to remove, so mm -hmm. you can spray them with some penetrating fluid and twist them until they come loose. And then remove the left hand side of the fuel filter, taking care to catch the diesel that spills out. Now this pipe was being pretty stubborn, but eventually using some pliers I did manage to loosen the hose by twisting it from side to side. But they do get very dry, especially if they haven't been replaced for a long time. Transfer over the rubber mounts from the old filter. You can apply a little bit of grease to the end of the filter and replace the hose and the feed side as well. If possible, wait until you've run the engine to replace the under trays as you'll want to see for sure that the new filter isn't leaking out anywhere.
I'd already replaced the under tray, but just give the new filter a quick check and see that there's no signs of any leakage. Finally, we've got the cabin filter, which is located on the outside of the car and is split into two separate panel filters. So we need to remove this cover here and we've got these socket locking clips that you need to undo approximately half a turn anti-clockwise. And then we've got the same locking clips on the cabin filter box. Be careful not to yank it straight out, you've got this sensor that you need to remove on the side of the box. Now the filters were a bit awkward to remove because they've got two clips at each side which ideally need to press all four of them at the same time which of course isn't possible with two hands. It's impossible to get the orientation of the new filters wrong as they all have these clips. Remove all the debris from around the filter housing before replacing the cabin filter box. The filter box may require some fiddling to get into position as these plastic clips that require half a turn to lock weren't attaching themselves at first and the same with this panel here you just need to re-tighten the plastic nuts about half a turn clockwise to lock them back in position. <laughs> 